This video demonstrates using the Distributed Test Manager, or DTM, to verify point mappings. This video is the fourth in this series. Please view video number one, Demonstration Overview, and video number two, Demo Components, for a complete overview of the demo, as well as a description of each of the components and their roles. In this video, a DTM script validates the data mapping in a gateway device. We're using the SCADA Data Gateway as the gateway device to map between IEC 61850 and DNP3. A DTM script changes each map data point in a simulated IEC 61850 server and verifies that only the corresponding point defined in an Excel spreadsheet changes in the DNP3 master. This script may be modified to work for any protocol supported by DTM and could even be used to document the point mapping if one does not already exist. Note that any errors found may be due to mapping errors or documentation errors. The Excel spreadsheet contains the following information. Source and destination device paths, data type, source data point path, and destination data point path. The end of list designation marks the end of the mappings. This technique allows an unlimited number of mappings to be tested. The file will be updated by the script to indicate the test results. Now let's exit the Excel file. and run the script. As we do, we'll notice the output shows the test mappings described in the Excel file. Now let's load the Excel file. Notice the mappings we viewed in the output match the mappings in the Excel file. Also, notice that the test results have been updated with the results of the test. The test found two errors. If we look at the mappings with errors, we see that the first error is due to an incorrect mapping. The Excel file indicated that phase A current magnitude should be mapped to DNP3 analog point 1, but it is actually mapped to DNP3 analog point 0. This is probably a typo in the documentation since the previous row maps phase A current magnitude to DNP3 analog point zero also. The second error shows a missing mapping. The Excel file indicates the phase B current magnitude is mapped to DNP3 analog point one, but changing the current did not affect this point. Additionally, no other points changed, indicating that the phase B current magnitude is not mapped to any DNP3 point. Now let's look at the script that drives this test. The script is composed of three parts. First is some initialization code. Second is a test loop. In this loop, we change the IEC 61850 server data based on the data type and verify the correct data point changed on the DNP3 master. Finally, we see the callback function. This function is called whenever a data point change is received. Notice the print statements in the test loop and the callback functions. These statements print to the output window in the test script. Having the correct point mappings is crucial to the proper operation of your system. This script provides the basis for point map verification and documentation. You can easily add more points to verify simply by adding them before the end of list line in the Excel spreadsheet. You could also tweak this script to include other protocols. And with relatively minor changes, you could even use this technique to develop your point mapping documentation.